you supposed to be, a clown or something? Sometimes. It's more like surfing than skating. I wish the rain would stop just once. It can't rain all the time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast. I'm Seth. I'm Matt. I'm Nick. And someone's <laughs> once again sucking on, on some. Uh... <laughs> What's on the menu today? Ah, uh, just some uh, water. <laughs> no, it isn't. Don't. Lie. No, you don't drink water through a straw. <laughs> it's probably some pumpkin ale. Okay, it's water, but I added. <laughs> Kool-Aid, fucking... No. <laughs> One of those flavor packets. Yeah, it's, it's it's water, but added corn syrup yeah. and high no, fructose It's water. Corn syrup. I mean, it's carbonated water. I it's mean, it's actually, carbonated water with fructose corn syrup. It's it's Coke. It's sugar-free, you fucking losers. <laughs> How about you just try some water? <laughs> Promise it's good for you. Nah, boring. Boring. <laughs> What's up, boys? What's up? How's your life? How's the Arizona boys doing? Shitty. <laughs> Shitty. Yeah? No disc golfing on the weekends, you know? Yeah, we go. We're good. It's starting to get hot, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. You got to stay indoors after once it gets hot. Starting to get burnt. Life of a blue tuber. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Speaking of blue tubers, record oh. store day was this past weekend. What'd you, what'd you guys pick up? That's got nothing to do with blue tubers. <laughs> oh, well, but record? I mean, you're a big uh, uh, record enthusiast, Seth. Did you pick anything up? Well, me and Nick went to Zia, and we were walking around there for about t- two hours because he couldn't oh, find yeah. anything to buy. Me? Oh, my God. Yeah. I was waiting for you. You were the one that had to cause <laughs> a whole scene. It was buy three, get the four three on pre-owned. Yeah, so I bought some so, Blu-rays, and this guy bought a video game that he had to return two seconds later. It was some virgin no, shit, though. Like, what was it? <laughs> well, it was a Nintendo Switch game. It was in, you know, it was fine. I'm sure it worked, but I opened it up, and the little label on the game was like ripped off. So I was like, "Turn around! I got to go back in." Oh, oh my it was like God. it was some truly spurgy. Yeah, <laughs> you want that in your dented. <laughs> uh, I probably would have just dealt with it. No, you wouldn't have. Yeah, I probably would have. I wouldn't no, want to. Have. I wouldn't wanted to deal with confrontation. There you go. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you almost, you almost uh, got kicked out of the store with your confrontation. Who me? Yeah. No. Why? What happened? <laughs> well, we don't usually do this, but yeah, we'll, we'll do it for you this time. She was like acting like I was returning it just because I didn't want it. I was returning it because it was fucked up. <clears throat> But they don't understand that, you know, they think, yeah, yeah. what a weirdo. But you literally just <laughs> went in there, right? Like two seconds to go, like whatever. Yeah. I got my money back, though. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was like one of those cases of, ah, oh, I probably should have checked it before, but you don't think about it. You just think, oh, they're giving a good product. True, no. true. Uh, you what about you, Matt? Matt? What was that? Both of you guys talked at the same time. What about you, Matt? Did you uh, get away from H&M for a little bit? Nope. <laughs> I've, I've been there my whole life right now. God uh, no, yeah. I, what was record store day? Was that like a, last Saturday? Saturday, yeah. Yeah, no, I was working. But there's a record store right across the, the street from where I live, and it was it was popping when I was driving over there. So There's one in Monrovia? Yeah. There's a big, like, it's uh, it gets all, like, the like the releases, like the whatever ones oh, nice. they have on the day or something. It's like that record store, and then what's the one that we go to when you guys come? Atomic? No, not Atomic Records, but the... Uh, Freak Beat? Freak Beat, yeah. Those are the two that uh, everyone goes to around here. I miss old Monrovia. Yeah. Of all the California places, I'd probably live there. It's a nice place. It's Stop expensive now. Dog, Dog Ears Diner. <laughs> like Stop warm over apple at... pie. Stop <laughs> over at, uh, at uh, what's it Pink called? Roadhouse? Yeah. Not Tip. I don't know get, what you're talking about. Get some French t- <laughs> French toast with uh, extra strawberry <laughs> syrup. Uh, it's banana. <laughs> banana <laughs> Foster's <laughs> French banana toast. Syrup. 
<laughs> Banana Fosters, baby. <laughs> Banana <laughs> Fosters. Not the healthiest of trips. When are you coming out here, Matt? Never. Well, that's what I was talking. No, that's <laughs> no. <laughs> I was talking to Nick. I'm trying to get a uh, a weekend going to, well, to come down there and visit my visit my two buds. Everyone, get, uh, Nick's given up on filmmaking. So <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I mean, we don't need to shoot a, a short. Or anything. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, be nice if we don't do any content for once. You know? Yeah. I mean, we could our, do our uh, channel's dead anyway. What does it matter? <laughs> we could do a visual podcast, like a video podcast. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, actually, I don't <laughs> like that at all. <laughs> okay, can't we, we just hang anything. out? Can't we just have a fun time? We can okay. go to Zia and do a Blu-ray hunting. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can go to Zia. You guys could have done do that them. when you went to Record Store Day. I know. Well, it was you kind could of do a quick little thing. disc golf fucking video, too. I know. Everyone loves Seth. They'd love to see Seth do stuff. <laughs> they really do. I know. I Seth like gets it. the views, dude. I don't get that. I don't get that. Seth was the OG uh, blue tuber back in the day. I'm bringing back Seth Talks Film. You know, it was nice knowing you guys, but. You didn't even do videos for our channel. What makes you think (laughs) you're going to do them for yours? Well, it's do them on mine. They get five times as many views, so. Well, I mean, that was back in the day. Now, if you use your iPhone 5, it's not going to work. Get out of here. I got an iPhone 10. Oh! Oh, Cool. Great audio. Great. Yeah, exactly. Son, let me tell you something. I created you. (laughs) I could make a fucking Blu-ray update on a goddamn webcam, and it would get good views. All right? Why don't you you do it? Yeah, actually. Toxic community. Well, that's true. Do, that's do, why an old, sw- do an old school out and about, you know? That'd be fucking weird now. <laughs> right? <laughs> did you ever do a top 10 video for your films of last year? No, remember we did it live on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Much easier. Less work. No iPhone to have to record with. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? Don't you have a vinyl update coming? <laughs> yeah, I've got a film. It's already done. F- filmed oh on my, my God, camera. Put it out. <laughs> Put it out. <laughs> Shot three in one day. Like, you know, why are you wearing the same shirt? <laughs> you just like the shirt. I mean, oh, is that man. why cool? Dude, right. Is that why cool dude wears the black shirt? Because then you just never know, like, Probably. How, how many videos he does in the same day. Probably. I got a, oh, I got a story about that, but I can't say it on air. But it's hilarious. Oh, you probably well, I, could. But no, 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 I def, no, I definitely, yeah, I definitely can't. But remind me when we when we end. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, we got some news. We got some stuff today. Can't remember um, the time. Oh, we'll we'll get to that. Uh, unless you want to talk about it now, you know. <clears throat> we don't have a we don't have a schedule. Your boy's been watching anything. <laughs> oh, well, That's funny something. you mention it. Can't Dude, rain f- all the time. You're a fucking loser, bro. Wait, did you watch it for the first time or what? Six movies in one day? God. You did that? What are you talking about? Fucking geek. I can't rain all the time. <laughs> did you really? Six movies in a day? Oh, I've probably done that a few times. He acts like he's never done it before. Version alert. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Okay, what did you do that day? Stared uh... at my wall for eight hours. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> At least I did something with my time, I True. guess. True, I wish I could do that. I was just fucking with you to see what you'd say. <laughs> All your fucking things are just movie quotes. <laughs> Seriously, that's virgin shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was on auto- box and an autism ad just came out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, right for the uh, this correct demographic. Shit. <laughs> And probably all those YouTube videos you go looking uh, for. Oh yeah, they're probably like you have a problem. <laughs> what's Anyways, that? What what's that say? YouTube? <laughs> uh, d- <laughs> I was gonna say that uh, after many long years, I uh, I rewatched The Crow. Ooh, and which uh, we'll talk about some other culty sort of movies, oh, okay. but okay. that's like the pinnacle of of culty movies. But yeah, I mean. I remember growing up watching that, and it was just kind of like a disturbing, dirty, grimy sort of film. It's yeah, so still, good. still is, but I mean, it's super good. <laughs> super Classic good. Uh, Ernie Hudson he was, performance. Yeah, he's the only cop in the city. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, there's there's that one uh, lady cop that he talks to, but I guess she doesn't leave the, the office. Yeah. He's the only one on the streets. And I, it's like supposed to be New York, I think. I don't fucking know. Yeah, and there's that crummy Mexican-looking guy who, like, who he gets in trouble with. But other than that, he's the only he's the only cop around. You inspired me to watch it after uh, seeing you watch it. It's one that I feel like I watch. I watch it at least once a year, man. Yeah, I was just I. <clears throat> I was curious how well it was going to hold up, and it, it it held up pretty well. I mean, Brandon Lee is he's great in that movie. Um, he is rip. <laughs> I I asked Seth the other day, um, <clears throat> what's uh, what's your favorite. <laughs> Who's, who's your favorite makeup wearing actor that died in a superhero what? movie? Oh my god! <laughs> or in a no, I, so obscure. Which um, which comic book acting character who wore makeup in the film that killed them do you like even better? <laughs> Heath Ledger or well, Brandon uh, Lee? Uh, very good. Do you, very Brandon. Do you li- <laughs> well, Heath Ledger did it to himself. Yeah, I mean, do Brandon you like Lee did, wanted to, wanted to live? We came yeah. up with some nicknames for both of them. <laughs> Yeah, we've got um. All right, pil- <laughs> <laughs> we there's, got <laughs> Pillhead Heath and Pillhead fake Heath. fake blank Brandon. <laughs> wow, that's actually really good. <laughs> oh, is this what you, is this what you do at work or what? This is what we do at work. This okay. is it. This is it. This would have come across funnier if it was natural or you know when we first. Wow, came up, this shit's man, funny. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, which which um. Which character in a film that wears makeup heat, that huh? killed him do you like even better? Fake blank Brandon. I'll uh, we'll, we'll put up a we'll put up a survey put up on a the toll. Uh, yeah uh, we'll put up a a, 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 a toll a t- boys hole. <laughs> <laughs> Got to pay the troll, troll toll, toll to get into the boys hole. Yeah, put up yeah, we'll a, put up a toll. we'll put up a poll later. See what you guys think. Whether you like fake blank Brandon or Pillhead Heath. Well, you already know who's gonna win that though. Of course. Pillhead Heath. Heath. That is so good. I, I like mean, Brandon. What he, Brandon like, was the best. Did you ever watch Rapid Fire? Watch that movie. I mean, like if he wasn't playing, you know, the crow character, you, you could almost pass for like a Joker esque sort of character. He could. Yeah. Like his performance is just so good in that movie. I've got to say though, and I say this all the time about other movies. Do you think the crow goes on to be as popular if he doesn't die while they're filming it? Probably I, not. I don't. Or, well, no, I actually think it it probably would because it wasn't really popular. Yeah, it's but I mean, like over the years, yeah. Movie. I don't know. It has over fucking. The, I mean, Bruce not Lee's like dark, it. dark night popular, but I I don't think it would have. Because I I can definitely see glimpses of like shitty nineties, gothic film. <laughs> There's some like crappy parts of it. What's your favorite shitty nineties gothic film? <laughs> <laughs> like the CGI when oh yeah well of course people I mean. pe- well people fall a lot in this movie and the CGI when they fall is <laughs> not not great. Every night I burn. <laughs> is that why you like that movie? Yeah, <laughs> the soundtrack. The, Cure, uh, the director was a fan of uh, the Cure and a lot of other eighties uh, kind of new waveish bands, you know, Joy Division. So mm-hmm. he reached out to Robert Smith and uh, saw if they wanted to compose a song for the film and they did and it's great robert yeah well he also directed gods of egypt so robert you probably own that i think you bought i it. do i do i regret it <laughs> yikes uh, b- uh black friday blind buy yeah didn't work that. out hmm. the crow is a great film though uh, i mean i don't know i think it's the best my favorite at least comic inspired film okay Good to know. Matt, you you watch anything at the mall? <laughs> no, people, people walk around. <laughs> no, I watched uh, the last movie I watched was that Kane Hodder doc from Hell and Back. Ah, oh. very good, by the way. Who? You know, come on, you don't know your horror lore. I you know, know who idiot. Kane Hodder is. Thanks, Seth. Kane Hodder. I've wanted to see that. It's good. Oh, I thought that I didn't read it. Like I just skimmed past the picture. I thought it was like a Ricky Gervais co- co- oh, comedy special. Yeah, or yeah something. it totally could. It could pass as that. <laughs> no, like he. I mean, Kane Hodder. For people that don't know, played oh, Jason okay. in the last like good, you know, four or five Jason movies. He did Hatchet. He was Hatchet. Victor Crowley. Victor Crowley. He was Victor Crowley and Hatchet. Um, but yeah, dude. Like a lot of people don't know his little backstory and. He went through a ton of shit, and if you don't know too, he got burned. He was burned like at a 
in his twenties. So he talks Every about that. Oh, the ins- <laughs> like severely. Ah, the it's inspiration fucking, for Hatchet. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. But yeah, it's a good movie. Solid. I want to watch that. I want to. I want to. It's on. It's on Prime for free. So. Ooh, wow. yeah. cool! Featuring interviews with c- cinema legends, including Bruce Campbell, Robert England, and Cassandra Peterson. There you go. Ooh, Elvira. Mm-hmm. And some nice seventy-year-old titties. <laughs> Yeah, ah, she looks. Adam, I mean, she looks Adam, bomb for her age. Adam Green. Oh, cool. <laughs> anyway, ah, sorry, Felisa it's not Birdman. Ro- Jesus oh. Christ, Fel- Felisa Rose, the uh, best friend of what movie one? Felisa, but okay. Yeah, see, it just goes to show how <laughs> how we get it. Oh, you like you like art house films. The lady who was in one movie. <laughs> yeah, the lady who had a penis in the movie. Huh. What else has she done? Hatchet 4. Oh, okay. Is she in that? Yeah, she's in that newest one. Mm -hmm. Dude, like, it's weird how... She'll do anything. You just pay her whatever, $1,000. Yeah. (laughs) It's funny, like, the guys that, you know, are, like, obsessed with horror, and there are a group of people like that, that that's all they watch. Mm -hmm. I swear they talk about her like she's Meryl Streep or something. But you know why, though, right? (laughs) Because, like, she will respond to you and, like, have a conversation. So they're like, what? Oh, my God. So they get yeah, all I mean, like, these guys with serious bo can't get any other chicks. Exactly, to to, but they <laughs> reach out to this girl they love in a movie they like, and you know she likes their tweet, and suddenly yeah. she's she can get their money. Yeah, yeah. Natalie Portman all of a sudden. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> how does I it? Oh fuck. Okay, well we got some new stuff. Uh, one of the interesting things that came out was um, you guys like Apocalypse Now? It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're going to be doing a final cut of it. <sighs> so, is this cut number 10? Yeah, 11? exactly. I think it's cut number 3. Okay, so it says you have the original release, the 2001 re-edited Redux that runs an entire hour longer, and the five-hour unofficial bootleg work print, and now, like Blade Runner, it's getting a final cut. So I guess four, technically. <clears throat> Do we need this? Why doesn't... Francis Ford just make a new movie. He yeah, will. I mean, what's 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 wrong with it now? But That's Apocalypse what I'm Now is great. So I mean, I'm kind of curious what he, what he thinks. You know, could make it better. Yeah, I mean, obviously he thinks it's not good enough. He, uh, he should do a uh, Jack a Jack director's cut. <laughs> no, no, no I, think we're, I think a, we're good with that too. We'll put a poll up for that too. Jack um, Redux. Redux. Jack Redux. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read here what it says about it, but... Who cares? Yeah. What's the next <laughs> <Okay>. news article? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else? Uh, <clears throat> some news came out about Sam Mendes' next film. Uh, apparently, it's going to be comprised of one long shot. Almost Bird- Birdman-esque. Yeah. Huh. Pretty interesting. What's yeah, it about? Pre- so it's like ru- it's like Russian arc. Get this, World War One drama. Oh, oh my, my god! Get <laughs> <laughs> it, it. So it's like the fucking scene in Atonement, but the whole movie. Yeah, pretty well. No, because that's World War Two. You. Well, I'm just saying. Idiot, I'm but... just. Well, there's not one for World War One. You idiot. So. Get your wars right. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a war. You uncultured movie. swine. This is. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's expected to follow two young British soldiers on the front line in a sort of day in the life esque film. Now combine that description with the news about it being one shot, and your imagination can fill in the blanks. It's got Mark Strong, Colin Firth, and Benedict Cumberbatch in it. It's going to be shot by Roger Deakins. Hmm. Matt, Matt nope. I thought nope. that would be enough nope. for you. Not letting it get to me. Nope. Roger Deakins. Now Oscar winner, Roger Deakins, cinematographer, you know the stuff that you cream over? I know. I just don't want to give you the satisfaction of me being into <laughs> this. So <laughs> I love I just, war. <laughs> I just want to hear you say it. I just want to hear you say it. Okay, I'm interested. Okay, there you go. Thank you. No, like Sam uh, Mendes. Yeah, who doesn't? Watch something that takes place after nineteen twenty, why don't you? <laughs> why don't you what? just why don't you just join the army? Okay, yeah. I'll just I'll watch World War Do II films with yourself. Yeah, Make something of yourself. Nah, that's why I like watching it. Less, <laughs> less, less to do. 
<clears throat> Disney Plus. You guys, uh, you guys heard about this? You know, fuck Disney and this movie club shit and all this Disney scam <laughs> shit. You know, are you, just, are you just... still part of the movie club? <laughs> oh yeah, guess who just got charged thirty two dollars for Mary Poppins Returns? <laughs> Why are you still a part of that? <laughs> well, I'm not. I called I'm last afraid... night. <laughs> I'm afraid to call. Fucking. God damn! Just because Evan was into it, why did I? Have to and you have to talk to like some Bangladeshi and get it canceled, I couldn't even right? Understand the lady? Yeah, that's like, what I'm you saying. Sure, you don't want Cinderella, and it's like no, no. <laughs> but Seth, we also know that Disney Plus is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need to watch movies on it though. <clears throat> uh, Are you the subscribe? price? I mean, I'm sure T will so. Uh, but it's going to be coming out November 12th this year, and it's going to be like six ninety nine a month. Um, it's not bad. No, no it's not. Is Ugh. it going to have all like their series and shit on there, too? That's what I'm <clears throat> trying to find. Uh, it's going to have Disney movies, shows and exclusives, obviously Star Wars, Marvel, The Simpsons. Uh, I think it's going to have... National Ge- Geographic, so it's not just going to be Disney stuff. They're going to have other things as well. Uh, I don't like Disney excited? enough. No, I don't like yeah. Disney enough to subscribe to that. I agree. Yeah, I'm trying to see what else is on here besides that. the main things. Uh, Disney's been working on the plan for some time now, acquiring a controlling stake and streaming technology provider, blah, blah, blah. Uh, spun out from Major League Baseball streaming efforts and now powers platforms like HBO Now and ESPN Plus so it knows a little something about okay so it doesn't really say what they're going to have um, but obviously Disney stuff and I don't know fascinating it's, I'm sure a bunch of people subscribe you know I mean if you have kids fuck oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you can enter- entertain your kids for seven bucks a month I mean babysitter yeah you know like households with children will fucking definitely get their money's worth out of it huh. i mean is it, is it like every disney film ever made no it's probably not they probably like... i mean i'm sure there's not like song of the south or that old time racist bullshit but and they probably like, I'm sure it's gonna have... like i've know. always wanted to stream old yeller <laughs> have you i do like that movie yeah, well, now you might be able For to. For six ninety nine a month. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Pretty decent price. It is. No. So that's a that's a no to the subscription for you guys. No, I'm not, not, I'm not that huge. I'm not that big of a Disney fan. <laughs> I'm not subscribed. I need to cancel my uh, my iTunes. You don't even watch movies. My iTunes, no, because like I didn't know that if you buy Spotify, you get Hulu for free. So. Oh. Oh, are you subscribed to Spotify Premium? No, I have iTunes, but I, I pay for Hulu. <laughs> oh. So that's why, like, I'm just going to cancel iTunes and get Spotify and I'll get Hulu. You mean Apple Music? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Is that how you guys have uh, it, or you have Spotify, too? I get uh, Hulu free through Sprint, but I pay oh, for okay. Spotify. Got it. Yeah, I've got Apple Music. And I pay for everything. Yeah, because you don't leave Super. your house. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> like outside people. Uh, speaking I've got agoraphobia. Of, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Speak. Oh. Oh, what? You want me to? You want me to talk about La Noire? Say it. <laughs> so we're we're in Zia. The g- the game that he wanted that he eventually took back. It was in a case, uh-huh. so he had to go ask somebody. Oh, he, no. He goes up to me, and he, he's like, dude, go ask. Oh, go, my go, get, God. go get somebody. <laughs> he would do that. <laughs> go, he's like, uh, go get somebody. I'm scared. Oh, fuck would say it like that. <laughs> oh, my God. So with no, with no issue, I go, hey, can I Can, can I get, get the key? The yeah, can there? I get someone to open the case for me? I didn't say You were just closer to it, so I just like, go run and do it right now. <laughs> All you would have to do is just walk a couple of feet, and you would be closer yeah, to play, it. Yeah, play it off however you want. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, it's like, it's like when you're interviewing people for the Halloween thing. Where's that at? I could even watch that shit. Down the hall. <laughs> yeah, bathroom. don't talk to me about a car phone. <laughs> <laughs> could even wa- could even watch you get rejected by those people. <laughs> it was only one person, one people's. 
Uh, I thought the ones that we got that was a great good, that so. was a great 649 view video. Do it for no, the passion. Kind of I'm just kidding. kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> do it for the passion of God. <laughs> Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> that's one of my favorite Halloween videos spooks. We've done. It's a great, it's a great <laughs> video. Let's go to more cons. Behind my window. Let's get, let's get some. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go, get some celebs. Let's go to Minecon. <laughs> Oh. You ever you ever see any of those Minecon cringe compilations? Yes. No, is that? It's truly horrific. I gotta look it up. It, hey, that Halloween it's... convention's at uh, one point five. I was just kidding. Thousand. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, oh, I thought you meant one point five. <laughs> no, I thought you meant just like one and a half. <laughs> one hundred fifty. Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> Uh, can you please Halloween. not use that music? That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck. We're walking you. by the uh, Halloween 5 area. Uh, Halloween 5. <laughs> is that me? Yeah. yeah. That was, <laughs> that's a great part of the video. <laughs> Tom the Atkins. Uh, Halloween con is popping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, here what's we your have a uh, Halloween I'm movie. The top. first one, you idiot. Uh, the last one said the the second. <laughs> <laughs> the last two people said the second one. Come up with some better fucking question. I didn't hear you s- <laughs> submitting any questions. Oh, oh my think god! My favorite one is moron. I gotta walk away. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I can't look. Halloween, five, five, Halloween, five, Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Over here, huh. here's the great Tom Atkins. Love that guy. Love Tom yeah, Atkins. seriously. Over here, uh, I love me some Tom Atkins. He's over there for a second. He walked past me six times, but I'm scared to say anything. To yeah. him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, every time I was like, dude, just go up to him. Okay. <laughs> Literally, walk, I was face to face with him like five times. I could have <laughs> He saw you. He was looking right in your eyes. Yeah, he What's knew. You, he, he, like directly he knew into your eyes. You wanted something. I feel it's, you know why? It's because I feel like I have to pay him. Not it's if like, he's what? walking. Mm. If he's away from okay. the booth, you can talk to him. Well, I feel like he's yeah, going to be, just... oh, you want a picture? Well, go wait in line and then pay me for it. Well, at least you'll know then. That's true. It's not like he's gonna. It's not like he's gonna say right then and there, "Give me five dollars." Well, every time I watch Halloween three for the rest of my life, I'll just think how he rejected me. <laughs> but now you're gonna think the rest of your life you didn't yeah. even ask for a picture. True. <laughs> oh I'll my never god! Never see him again. He's gonna die soon. Fuck. Exactly. How unfortunate. Mm. Well, at least, <laughs> at least we have him on camera. That's true. And in your memories. Let's go to more cons. You get to Any more cons coming? Monster Palooza was this last weekend. Mm, smelly. But oh, yeah. I think Days of the Dead's coming uh back here. How about non horror ones? So that's all I like is. horror. <laughs> God. But do you like anything else? Oh other yeah, than no, there's a World War One and World War Two con coming up. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are called those are called guys. Exactly. Those are called They're called museums. veteran halls. <laughs> They're called museums. <laughs> They're called what well, where did you used to work, Seth? Yeah. Smith's Grove. Retirement homes. That uh, that con's held over at the Elks Lodge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, That's the shi- the Shriners any, <laughs> clubs. Any <laughs> any drama cons? No, no. <laughs> oh, didn't we miss? We missed WonderCon too. That was like uh, April, April, beginning of April. Yeah, that was four years ago. We were there. Oh, God, four years ago, you had another nervous breakdown. Not I had I, I had one on that escalator. Oh my god, it's Marilyn Giggly. <laughs> dude, say hi to her for me. Dude, oh. watch, dude, say hi to her for me. Dude, say hi to her for me. Why don't both y'all shut up? <laughs> <laughs> I just watched Clerks the night before. I didn't expect to see her. I was just starstruck. You did expect to see yeah, her. That's why we watched it the night before. No, I didn't know she was going to be there. <laughs> I don't remember us actually looking up who we was going to be there. That's why I was taken aback. <laughs> All I remember is walking through and wet movies wearing that house shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the guy from the movie's like, dude, I was in that movie. And we're like, uh, okay. And just keep walking. Yeah. Had to Wait, buy that. when did that happen? That- had to buy that twenty-five dollar video drum shirt. That's right. Long live the flesh. Yeah. Shirt. Long live the new. Long live the, the long short sleeve shirt. 
Long live the square yeah, shirt. Long live the really bad quality <laughs> shirt. Uh, glad I didn't waste my money on one of those. Smart man. Sorry, Brett. Sorry, Brendan. This is your friend, not mine. I'm not supporting him. Hey, guys. Speaking of horror. There we go. Um, <laughs> one of Universal's monsters is being, back, is being brought back from the dead. Universal and Blumhouse are developing an Invisible Man movie. Oh, no. the worst one. I'm done. <laughs> With Insidious and Saw Mastermind Lee Winnell attached to direct. Yeah. Well, let's just watch Hollow Man. Yeah, that's what I literally was going to say right now. Or just the original Invisible Man. Hmm. Yeah. I like Hollow Man. Does that movie still hold no. up? I remember I watching that it. back then, too. No. <laughs> Does any movie yeah, Elizabeth Shoes it... in hold up? No, it doesn't. Back to the Future? Okay. No, not really. No? <laughs> Overrated. <laughs> Bit. Did you guys hear Jordan Pundick and Newfound Glory's oh cover of Power of Love? We talked about this last episode. The answer is the same. It's no. the power of love. Oh, oh, you mean we've never repeated a joke before. Okay. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, by the way, I found his email if you want it, Filmies. Why do I? Why? No, I don't why? know if you want to get a sweet tattoo from him. Nah. <laughs> you know you want to email Pundick. Mm-hmm. Pundick. Pundick. Hey. Big fan. What's up, dude? Bit a bit a big fan my whole life. You know, can I can I get a tattoo? That'll be a hundred dollars. Oh, you mean okay. I have to drive to you? Never mind. <laughs> I thought you like drove to people. Aren't you like postmates? You'll leave a lasting impression. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave a lasting impression. Uh, Jordan, Jordan, uh, 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 uh. weirdo. No, I met them a couple times. It was pretty normal. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm good on a tattoo. That was my past life. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I guess this is part of that dark universe that has already failed. You know? Oh, yeah. What is it? Like Dracula Untold? <clears throat> yeah, I think it's that and then <laughs> the Mummy. The mummy. Um, but it's. Two it movies says that nobody that... watched. The, yeah, the least favorite two movies. It says that Johnny Depp's attached to play the Invisible Man. Ugh. He needs to go <laughs> invisible. I'm tired of him. <laughs> Why are you tired of him? He's not a beater anymore. Yeah, but you didn't hear that. She's also like, no one came out with any of that stuff yet. It's all still, go- it's all what? still going to court. Uh it's all still like a he said, he said, she said. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't uh, figured it out yet. So no Dead Man fans. <laughs> oh, love it. Need to watch it. Great film. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great Jim Jarmusch. Jim oh. Jarmusch. Did you guys see Winnell's film last year? Uh, upgrade. I need to check that out, but I know Seth, you I, liked it, right? I did. I liked it. Didn't love it, yeah, but I liked pretty, it. That's pretty solid. It was, like, it was just different. Pretty unique. I like good that con- actor. Yeah, good concept. Yeah, what's that guy's name? Knock off yeah, Tom pretty Hardy? Much. But I liked him in The Invitation. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. He is in that. And, and Prometheus. Ending. I like Prometheus. Yeah, he's in that too. <clears throat> um, and then, did you did you guys hear about this whole thing going on with these uh, the firing of these agents? No. Oh, the like writer these actors it... are fired. Oh, what? I thought it was the writers were firing. Yeah, or maybe it's the writers. The writers are firing their agents. H- have you heard about that at all? No. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll try and do like a TLDR to keep it a little a little short, but. I know Patton Oswalt's one of them. Like a bunch of these writers are, are firing their their uh, their agents, but basically it says so. What's happening is that typically writers are represented by an agent, especially an agent as part of a large agency of agents, managers, and publicists. Those agents and their agencies only earn money when the person they're representing makes money. Typically, ten to fifteen percent of whatever the person they're representing is paid. What's been happening in Hollywood is that agencies have been dealing more direct with TV and movie production houses to package together teams of writers, producers, actors, and cutting the pay that these individuals would have received had they been represented individually. That's kind of fun. And then it goes on. Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes on to say that now we're getting to the point where the same big agencies with these agents making packaging deals are also creating production firms to produce TVs and TV shows and movies. This means that the agents now have a vested interest in not only getting the best deals for packaging writers together, but now they earn more money the more they save on the production costs altogether. 
That's because they can now own part uh, part or all the rights to the TV show or movie and thus earn money off its profits. So now they have a doubling down, a double dipping effort to earn more money by bypassing the writers completely. Oh, it's a line. Got so a line of those fat pockets, man. A lot of shady <clears throat> shit right? going on. <clears throat> I didn't really read much into it until today, but it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's what you expect. It's, it's just those, those fat agencies trying to, to line their pockets. And, uh, <laughs> I guess there's, I don't know if it's like, um, an organized thing or it's just, they're doing it, um, just simultaneously. But yeah, a bunch of, a bunch of people have just been firing their agents and, hmm solidarity of this i guess hollywood fucking shasty shit yep <laughs> fuck yeah yeah i just thought that was a little interesting i'm trying to see if i can find anything on who's done it but it says guild says thousands of writers have fired their agents already <sighs> hollywood's crumbling as we speak thank god <laughs> hey, you don't want any more movies? i want indie film forever indie i want a24 Ooh. Fuck Hollywood, go Fuck indie. Hollywood, go indie. I love how we made that up. Like, that was our original idea. Right? Well, maybe we should make a shirt and sell some merch. Really? And make like, some that's money the best thing it. we've ever come up with. Just us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just us. Nobody no else. else. Just three of no, us. Nobody else. Just the three of us. The, the three of us that have been here the exactly. whole time. <clears throat> Crazy. Got some, uh, got some trailers here. Huh? Uh, uh, this first one I just want to talk about quickly because it's the return. Of Brian De Palma. Is he dead yet? <laughs> he should be. <laughs> he's probably close. He's, he's probably, probably old, he, man. Yeah. He's seventy-eight. He's seventy-eight. Damn. Uh, love De Palma, but this movie looks pretty generic and stupid as shit. Domino. Uh, and Domino. Isn't there already a movie Ew. named Domino? Uh, I think so, but you know they. No, they I know, I know. I'm just saying. More but, than one movie with the same name. Mm. You ever seen Halloween? It's like three Halloweens. That's true. Good point. In a world racked by terror and suspicion, Copenhagen police officer Christian seeks justice for his partner's murder. Bar- what? <laughs> Slow <Murder. laughs> sounded out. For his partner's murder by an ISIS member named Imran. Nah. On the hunt. For- <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Sounds in line with most uh, most other De Palma <clears throat> films. Shitty. No, you're wrong. He's got like two good but ones. But he's bro. a... <clears throat> but he's uh he's back with the same composer he did with Carrie, uh Blowout. This guy also did Don't Look Now, Nicholas Rogue. So Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird like the key words that get him I going. Know. You already know what to say. <laughs> I know, I know exactly. Walk about. Just... <laughs> oh <laughs> Did someone oh. say Nick Rogue? Yeah. <laughs> Amateur night. Witches. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, amateur night. I watched it once. <laughs> yeah, but I heard this movie already has like it's already had shooting cut short and a bunch of issues, so it's probably gonna suck. It's a senile old man attempted to direct the film. We we talking about Scorsese's older than he is. Oh, he still got all his marbles. Does he? Yeah, we'll find out. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. Scorsese's younger than him. Scorsese's never directed shit like Scarface and uh, Body Double. Body Double is cheesy 80s. And what's wrong with Scarface? Do you like Scarface? No. I don't like it. Not that good. It's not that good. I don't remember much of it. Not my favorite. Blowout. Blowout's Uh, good. Blowout's pretty good. Blowout's good. Horrible poster, but... (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Carrie? Eh. Carrie's scary. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> keep, keep going. Uh, uh, <laughs> keep going. Untouchables, pretty good. Oh yeah, I like. Untouchables. Yeah, pretty good. Dress to kill. I like. Nice I like dress to kill. Yeah. What's yeah. that one with the two sisters? No, that's sisters. Oh, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> dress to kills the tranny one with Michael Kide. Michael Kide. Michael Kide. She's not like sixteen years film. old. She's. <laughs> You're not supposed to uh, blow the bloody doors off. That was pretty good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's all I do. Bust, bust away, <laughs> bust away. <laughs> Since I heard your cries in this very mansion, I oh. saw a ruby Cur- the size of a grapefruit. 
Don't forget about <laughs> Snake Eyes with Nick Cage. Ooh. There's a great one. <clears throat> Have you watched that though? It's I, good. I like it. It probably oh, doesn't hold up. It. it probably doesn't hold up. It sounds bonkers. That's that's but classic Cage right it. there. There's no such thing. <laughs> you guys ever seen Carlito's Way? No, no I my dad that loves that though. There you go. See, De Palma's done some good stuff. He's done like two good things. <laughs> what, 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 was the, best, what was the last thing what, he's done that's good? Like current. Uh, well, nothing. Probably Carlito's really. way. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, dude. probably. Okay, so then, yes. You guys like the Black Dahlia? No. He did that too. He huh? did that too, or you just? He, he, no, he did that. Oh, yeah. Okay. The best thing, one of the best things he's done is the documentary about his movies. Yeah, I still. I've heard that's that. pretty good. Yeah, it's. I wish they did more movies like that, <clears throat> where directors would just sit and talk about how they made the movies and all that. Like he just goes into a bunch of detail about them. It's it's quite interesting. On Amazon Prime right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and then some bigger ones: The Lion King. What'd you think of this one, Seth? Looked fine, but lacking in personality and character. Looks like a National Geographic film with voiceover. Wow. Okay. Matt, did you... All right, well, it's a shot for shot okay. from the original trailer, so... Yeah. Well, from the movie, really. Yeah, that's what I mean, like the original trailer from the movie. Like, so, seems fine. Yeah. I'll, wa- like, I'll watch it on Netflix. I won't go out to watch it. You mean on Disney Plus? Sorry, yes. I'll watch it somehow. <laughs> looks like, you'll, looks like no, you'll be I'll, subscribing, I'll, I'll, then. I'll, I'll watch it from home. I won't go out to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I get what you're saying for sure, like, Seth. It, it feels a little life. Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, I'm not, like, dogging on it, but it's just when they're hand-drawn, you know, they all feel like different characters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To me, they just it just looks like lions. It's hard like, to distinct. Like, Scar is really hard to distinctify. Yes, yeah, Scar just looks like a lion. There's nothing, like, <laughs> rugged about him, like, you know, the... Rugged. <laughs> The hand. Well, he doesn't even look like Scar. Either. He does. It's like tiny though. I think it's above his eyebrow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm, I mean, it is what it is. Eh. Okay. Uh, then we had Star Wars: The what is Rise of Skywalker? This is such a mess. This really is. This whole thing. Is this is like the like, end of this trilogy? Then I hope. I hope it is. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the end for a while. God. I don't know how true that is, but they just need to end this you know, Skywalker thing. Yes. Like, did it? Did it? <sighs> didn't Palpatine die? Why is he going back? Didn't Carrie Fisher die? Well, no, they're continuing. I think they're continuing her thing. They have like extra footage and shit. <laughs> yeah, they're using leftover footage. Yeah. I you know I know what they're doing. They sh- well, there's um. Spoiler alert, there's a part in The Last Jedi where you think she's going to die, like her character's going to die, and then they just don't. They don't kill her. She does this weird force push thing. Yeah. That would have been the perfect time to just kill her, and now you have to... Well, they said they worked it out where they can continue her storyline without her doing it, being there <laughs> for it, so I don't know. It just seems like a money grab, I... kind of like last Lando fucking oh my god 90 year old billy d yeah like really (laughs) like sure why not (laughs) you know you know he was waiting but i told nick today he's like fuck that guy's been waiting by the phone for years hell yeah shit yeah 82 getting that paycheck wow yeah no i mean i i think it's a lot of it's going to be fan service they're going to retcon a lot of the stuff that happened in the last jedi um because in the last jedi well the whole build-up was that oh ray's important oh the jedi are gonna die or whatever yeah. and they just changed everything completely. is that uh is that on netflix can i watch that which one yeah last, last jedi? jedi yeah i mean i'm pretty sure as long as the disney stuff's still on there like it's not awful. It's just but they change it, right? Like they change the it. lore, kind of, right? Yeah, like the like the very end of Force Awakens. There's this whole build up with how much the lightsaber is supposed to mean, mm-hmm. and like in right at the very beginning of Last Jedi, he takes the lightsaber and throws it over his shoulder, like it doesn't matter. Wow. So it's just it's one of the issues with getting different directors to do different parts if there's no cohesion. Yeah, yeah that no, makes sense. 
no storyline. <clears throat> so now it's a mess. See that uh, live reaction from like the Star Wars convention? It was like all these, all these fucking people <laughs> yep. in the conference room watching the trailer. Yep. Man. B.O. Galore. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hylotosis. Yeah, it's, on- uh, it's like out oh, the end when you hear that, we hear the laugh. <gasps> Palpatine! <laughs> I thought it. I thought it was like Mark Hamill laughing. Honestly, oh God, that shit's Palpatine. Yeah, the but Empire. well, he 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 fell. He didn't. Well, die. like, is he like a ghost in that fucking? You know, in the probably. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. You can do anything when you have Force ghosts. Really, that's true. You really can. I don't know. I glanced over my uh, Star Wars Blu-rays the other day. I'm thinking, huh? Maybe I should pop these in again, but. That thought lasted for about five minutes. Well, seconds. Star Wars, the OG, is fine. I like the original trilogy. Yeah, that, that's fine. That will always be that, you know? Yeah. What about your uh, your lady friend? Is she into Star Wars stuff or no? Like no. Marvel, Star Wars? No, okay. none of that. <laughs> Does she like anything? Yeah, not that shit, thank well, that's God. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> You act like it would be the end of you if you had to go see a Marvel movie. He wouldn't. He, might he wouldn't go see it. Yeah, I don't think I'd be there. Uh, 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 agoraphobia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, stare at the ceiling while I figure out what to do tonight. Talk about yourself, bud. No, I watch six movies a night. Good God, man. <laughs> do you order Do you order Postmates, too? Like, you just, like, get everything brought no, to I, you? No, it's not that bad. Like, <laughs> leave it, leave no, it by I the door. Out... <laughs> Honestly, I was like, I was seriously considering paying the fees the other day for grocery delivery. God you know damn. what? That ha- that has its uh, its benefits though, because I was I was really sick this week, and I was like, I could have used that. Did What's you do that it? One? No, because I forgot the w- which one it was. Like it's Instacart? not Instacart. Po- That's what it is. I was trying to find out because my friend used to drive for that. It's just a, you know, it's like Sunday morning. You know, it's packed at the fucking grocery yeah, yeah, yeah. store. The only reason I haven't done it is because I live on a, like, you know, I'm not like ground level. I don't know how they they bring it up to you. Oh or what. yeah, yeah. You probably have to go get it, especially at your place right. where there's a lot. Is it like, is would, it like locked to get in? Yeah. Oh yeah, you'd have to go out to get it. Well, there's a door code, but there's no elevator, so they'd have to. I they would know. bring it to that door, and then you'd go walk out and grab it. <laughs> just go downstairs. Yeah, I'm starting to think that. So I'm like, have you got Postmates go. at your place before, or like Uber Eats or anything? <laughs> yeah, I always have to run down and get it. Yeah, because I don't fun. know how to get in. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can't go get the groceries, but then you can't. Well, you go know how you know how my apart- delivery. You know person. how my apartment is, right? So I just tell them to leave it on the porch, and I could see them like walk <laughs> up to there and leave it. I just won't talk to oh, them. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell get the hell out of here. What the fuck? That's some spook shit. I just don't want to yeah, talk to him. Leave Why me don't alone. you just go out when you see the guy say, hey, buddy. Okay, like you would do that. I would. <laughs> no, you <laughs> wouldn't. For food delivery, I want to go. God. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, buddy. Also, quit talking shit about how's me. How's it going? Fucking leave it on the doorstep when you're yeah. watching your window. <laughs> oh, my just God. It it's not because I'm scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, it no. is. What else would it be for? I don't want to deal with it. That sounds like you're so what, I talk to people all day long. What are you talking that's, about? That's fucking funny. So though. do I. No, you don't. My job is a over phone the phone. Job. You talk to people. You don't talk to people in person. So that's different. <laughs> it's human I, I interaction, to day. physical human interaction. Is I the can't problem. even talk to people on the phone. So oh my god. <laughs> I had I had to go deliver to people's places. No, see that I, was that, I remember. Yeah. So, but do you do you think that when you used to deliver, right, and now, like it's different? Your no. phobia. No. Okay. There you go. <laughs> well then. What? No. It's what's fucked up though is I think that like a, we're getting into real talk right now. <laughs> as I think like a, a trigger for the whole thing was that SWAT situation. Yeah. Like What's what situation? Are you kidding? No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, that, oh. Yes. Yeah, that. I'm sure. PSD, bro. I, I'm sure that fucking, yeah. yeah, no, oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Because I was never as bad as I am now. That would and fuck anybody up. It. Oh, yeah. I think we all have, like, something that, that triggers something Speak for in yourself. us. I'm normal. <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> I, sure. I, was, I can't go to the grocery store, but then I can't get it delivered either because I don't know how they're getting up the stairs. All, yeah. But then just go I, say hi to I, the guy. <laughs> well, if I've got to go down and carry him up the stairs, then why pay for the delivery when <laughs> I just go to the store at that point? Well, isn't the point not to? Well, have how, to far, know, how far is the store? I think, ooh, some Uber Eats would be nice. Some somebody just brings the food to my door, and then they call. Yeah. Oh, can you run down and find me? It's like then it's. Like, what's the point? Yeah. We'll so I'm out. like that, but one more step. Like, why even talk to that person? Just have them leave it by the door. <sighs> you know what? I agree that's with just, you. That's yeah, just there bizarre. we go. It's just bizarre. If you know, if you could, you would. Don't lie. If there was an <laughs> option where they could just leave it by the door and you don't have to talk to them, you would do it. Yeah, I would. Yeah, see? You would too, filmies. Leave it on the, filmies. Leave it on the doorstep. Just hang, hang it on the doorknob. Leave me alone. <laughs> you're like peeking through the blinds. Yeah, like your fucking <laughs> short film. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> Fuck, that's fun. Where, Are we on Blu-rays and... and uh, com- yeah, theaters and virgin deals. Okay, cool. And- Coming to Blue Array, April 23rd, 2019. We got some 4Ks for you 4K heads out there. Oh, Who's ready for that? 1979's Ooh, Alien 4K. 1979. Anybody? Anyone? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I have it already. I don't really need to upgrade I like it. Alien, but it's not my favorite. Okay. Well, I think I might have one that might interest you guys. I know what you're going to say. The Witch in 4K. Ooh. Ooh. Now, mm. now you've got my Monochromatic in 4K. I know, like... You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. When is that guy going to make another fucking movie? This year. This year. The is Lighthouse. The Lighthouse coming out yeah. this year? Uh-huh. It's been a while. Shit. He's taking his yeah, time. So wouldn't you rather a guy like take his time and make like a oh. masterpiece every oh, time? Oh, for sure. I'm just saying. You know, I'm ready to see something else now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For, sh- for, for sure. <laughs> uh-huh. I can only buy so many versions of The Witch. Yeah. Here's my steelbook from Zabby that I can't watch. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. A- and well, okay. Anyway, uh, Virgin Deal of Day slash another 4K that's coming out. We got Captain America: Winter Soldier or Ooh. Civil War, and they're also getting steel books with these 4K editions as well. Uh, no. Uh, so what? Ad- what edition <laughs> are you guys gonna be buying? Did you guys uh, get your tickets to Endgame? I heard it sold out. <laughs> Who is so that? Fast. <laughs> Did, did did you see that it sold out faster than any movie ever? Mm-hmm. You know what that means? A lot it's already of, the best film ever made. We have a it's lot of good virgins because it makes money. Are are, are, are we finally going to have a film that beats out Titanic and Avatar as the highest grossing film of all time? Like, dude, go talk to a chick or something. God, <laughs> he's he's married. Well, go talk to your wife. <laughs> Wait, who's okay? Whatever. <laughs> text text me who said that. Um, I it's in the chat. We'll text it again. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the version deal of the day. Did you guys know that I took a course in film noir? Yeah. Did you? And then did nothing well, with just it. So you know. <laughs> Turner movie classic. <laughs> well, Noir Archive is doing a film collection of noir films. So Ooh. from 1944 to 1954, you know, the year I was born. Ooh, are you going to pick it up? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's 35 bucks. I might and just never watch them again. Nine movies. So, uh, you know, for you noir heads out there. The uh, Criterion Channel has a collection of Columbia Noir on there right now. Columbian Noir? Yeah. Anyone ever see The Third Man? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I almost watched it the other night. It's good. (laughs) Say something. What's... what? I was just gonna say what stopped. Well, you. I went to Animal House instead. Oh, oh okay, that's, that's a little that's fair. <laughs> I could tell what kind of mood Calm you're in. Okay, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. That's John fair. Belushi over Orson Welles. Calm down, you fucking psycho. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> say something. <laughs> uh, anything uh, else? Looking, looking, looking. Escape Room. Did you ever? Did you guys ever watch that when it came out? Uh, oh, I like plan. Why the fuck would I watch that? Hmm. Just wondering. Nope. Uh, we got. Let's no. see what else. Oh, any any fans of um, I Spit on Your Grave? Never seen it. The original was. Dirty. Yeah, well, they made a new one called I Spit on Your Grave. Deja Vu with the original girl, but she's older. What? Yeah, it's called I Spit on Your Grave. Deja Vu. It looks like shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably because there's like 
two sequels in between that. Yeah, but it's supposed to star the same chick. And, like, either her daughter gets taken and raped. I don't know. But uh, you can you can buy that cool. one. <laughs> it's pretty pretty gnarly rape movie. We got some Arrow video releases. We got Scared Stiff, a 1987. I've always heard of that one. Never, uh, never watched it. Any listeners out there want to <clears throat> send Seth the uh, Waterworld Arrow? Uh, send us a message. <laughs> okay. Nobody? No, someone out there. Does anyone wants, own the Waterworld? Someone out there likes Seth enough to buy him Waterworld, so... Angel? Does, <laughs> does Seth like himself enough to buy Waterworld? <laughs> Seth is a financial crisis now, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't rain all the time. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> Eric Draven? Eric? But, yeah, that seems to be everything that's coming out. What about Theater? Uh, we have a movie that I think we've all seen at this point, finally coming out theatrically, Under the Silver oh, Lake. Oh, yeah, it got pushed. That's a 2018 film. Yeah. Well, it's finally coming no, out. it kept getting pushed no, back. It's, people saw it in 2018. It was released in 2018. So if people saw Shut a movie up. in that year, then it's okay. It was released in 2018. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, it's coming uh-huh. out. <laughs> Great film, by the way. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't like culty movies? I wouldn't even say it's culty. Tell me you like that piano part, and then I will just shut up. But there's no way fine. you liked it. I don't understand. No, there is just, no way you like that. I don't understand whether they just cast an old man. We're going to watch that together, all of us. And I'm going to look at you when you watch that part. There's no cool. way you like that. But, oh, my God. It was It was cool. cool? He's telling him he wrote all the hit songs. He looks like a Croft puppet. (laughs) (laughs) I love me. He looks like Marty McFly. Not Marty McFly. He looks like Biff, like in (laughs) the future. Like Like that bad, like fucking prosthetics. I love uh, Riley Keough and uh, whatever the other chick's name is. (laughs) I was gonna say Andrew. Yeah, I love love him too. (sighs) Anyway, oh Andy. Well, that means we're closer to a Blu-ray release, so that's cool. Ooh, day one. Uh, ew. Then we have a movie called Drunk Parents. Uh, Alec Baldwin, Selma Hayek. Go check uh, check out this poster. Tits. Selma Hayek's <laughs> tits are looking lovely. Oh, God. What's it called? Drunk Parents. It takes place in Granite City. Doesn't... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, Selma. wow. <laughs> right. I mean, her face is looking beat, but yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Seth, waiting on your rating. Oh, uh, what? Who? who? <laughs> oh, you get it together Al? now. Uh, who? Uh, what's the movie? Didn't you already ask? No, one? he's <laughs> senile. <laughs> drunk, drunk parents. <laughs> I don't like Alec Baldwin. Wanted... But... <laughs> hey. Sh- well, she looks fine. What do you mean her face is beat? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's because her makeup's runny. You got you like that strip scene in uh, From Dust Till Dawn? Hell yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, watch Desperado. She's naked in that. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the Cool. Horror movie for Mexicans. The Curse of La Llorona. Wow, good yeah, pronunciation. I've seen this trailer like a bunch, but... Yeah, isn't it one of those on the MLB? Something yeah, like and I've seen it a few times at the theater for like the past six months. Yeah, seriously, I feel like it's been a while that they started. They've started uh, putting Is it out from the producers James of the Conjuring Juan? universe. He probably produced it. It's, it's not. He did produce yeah. it. <laughs> Linda Cardellini. There we go. Oh yeah, she plays well, a Me- right. apparently a Mexican mom. How does that work? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, talk about a, Cardellini sounds Mexican. Oh, talk Cardellini. About, I want to talk about a face looking beat. That's true. She was hot though back in the day. Uh, she was hot in a uh, green she's... book. Oh. Uh, <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't watch right? it. And Boy Meets World when uh, Corey yes, cheats Boy on Meets her World, the, yeah. or cheats with her at the ski lodge. Grandma's boy, you dude. She's, she's looking, looking beat. Grandma's boy. Not. Oh, uh, that's. I think that's Pete. She's not looking beat, but you know she's starting to look her age. Which is normal. She was peak. She was peak in 
grandma's boy. Yeah. Anyway, that that movie sucks. Um, <clears throat> what? That movie sucks. What? It probably <laughs> grandma's boy is funny as hell. What are you talking about? Yeah, if you take up the butt. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, you used that joke three episodes ago. Oh, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> Can you fucking relax? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. Uh, nobody can get to me. <laughs> I've seen you get pissed on the disc golf course. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking yelled at Philly's like a few weeks Oh, back. no. I, was, I felt bad about it. I was. Just, well, I was going well, for a putt. He was. <laughs> like, you know, and I, I, we go with these two competitive guys, and, you know, I wanted to fucking win. And I miss this easy ass putt. It just bounces off, and the film just makes him look <laughs> just like laughing. Like, it wasn't. I didn't even laugh because you missed the punt. Uh, the the putt. I was just laughing because it bounced off the top and made a doink noise. Anyway, like, the, and, <laughs> what did you say to him? And then he's like, "Shut the fuck yeah. up, you." <laughs> you said, but it was like not jokingly. So, like, no, I was yeah, serious. I felt bad, but I apologize to him the next day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> said, said something like. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to hear you fucking know, laughing. You just, I think that's yeah, what I, said. I don't need to hear you fucking laughing when I'm trying to make a play. <laughs> Sounds like a sociopath. <laughs> okay. Right? Yep. Sounds like Asperger. Pretty much. <laughs> no. All right, mom, mom, did you mess up my fucking video games, mom? The fuck? <laughs> Stop. Dad, I want to run a video game. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see. I don't want to see Beverly Hills Cop. Close. Both when, you, when you do a putt, right? When you do a putt, how close are you to the uh, the thing? Well, it depends. It's where you well, shot. Well, like, okay, how, how close were you? Or this? Situation? I was close. I should have uh, made it. Mm. So I was pissed already, and then I hear this fucking guy laughing. <laughs> I got to hear this fucking laughing. I'm trying to I'm make sorry. a putt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's out of character. Uh, I don't know. You guys get pretty angry with your <laughs> with your disc well, golf. Like the masters. <laughs> Yeah, the masturbators. Right, it's gonna be a three hour episode. Let's get Yeah, can we get let's get to the uh Oh shut up. On? Uh and then the last movie is I think we talked about the trailer for this. Little Woods. It's got Lily James, mm mm, and Tessa Thompson. D. I don't <laughs> Yo D. Hey, yo D. Is she a hey, yo, lesbian? D. I think she's one of those free love sort of people. Shh. She's a fuck anything that moves. I'm attracted to people, not gender. There we go. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, fuck, I'm attracted to her. Yeah, she doesn't really do it for me. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> never, never, never mind. What? What's the, what's the uh, movie? Because she's black. No. <laughs> yeah, that's. What's... Is it because of her color? Oh, wow. <laughs> I like chocolate women. I just don't like her. What? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What? When have you ever liked a chocolate? When was woman? a race chocolate? <laughs> you know what I meant. You like that choco choc, huh? Nice. <laughs> that purple. I like it. Cho- oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck that Barney. Oh my Ew. god. <laughs> that Barney boo boo. Mm. So bu- so black they look purple. <laughs> yeah, come on, keep it moving, bro. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> that is so racist. <laughs> I like chocolate women. <laughs> no, I, I believe uh, him. He probably likes actual chocolate women. Oh yeah, like he likes food, chocolate yeah. in the form of a yeah. woman. Yeah, because you eat I, so I, healthy. A female Easter truffle bunny. potato chips, anyone? Shit. <laughs> oh fuck, that's funny. Family size of wild bears, uh, anyone? I haven't had those in a while. Dude, you need to try those sweet heat starbursts. Ew. Okay. They're good. Sounds, sounds gritty. Okay, let's move on to our main topic. So, uh, with us watching The Crow, I was honestly surprised we didn't, didn't do an episode already about cult movies. I feel movies, like we have. But, uh, I feel like we have too, but... Uh, I, I, I went back and looked. I couldn't find anything. You went back all 130-something episodes? <laughs> yeah. I, I went through. I went through on Bus Sprout. None of the titles said anything about cult. Nothing. Wow, okay. So, so if you're a long time so, listener and you've already heard this episode, just pretend this is a reboot. <laughs> yeah. Not a pro- Yeah, it's a sequel. 
But I don't know. I feel like I would have named the episode cult movies or something, you know, like you would know if we did. No, but I also feel like a certain person who was into cult movies would have definitely mentioned that. No, but he was into like actual cult films, films about cults. Yeah. True. Not like cult classic movies. Good point. Now, what is a cult film for those who may not know? Mm -mm. Does anybody know? (laughs) Cult films are known for... Cult films are known for their dedicated, passionate, smelly fan base. <laughs> in, in elaborate subculture that engage in repeated viewings, quoting dialogue, and audience participation. Okay. A lot of the times, like box office bombs or, you know, stuff that isn't mainstream. Um, so we've got a... It's, it's a Rolling Stone reader's poll. 25 best cult movies of all time. Okay. Um, but uh, if you guys have some others you want to talk about real quick. Well, I don't know, I don't know what's on, on the list. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's on your list. I could well, tell that, you. That's a, that's okay. We can, we'll can we go through it. Some anyway. that I love that I mean, I think are cult films. Um, Big Trouble in Little China. Okay, yeah, I would think okay. so. Um, the Lost Boys, I think, is a cult film. 80s cult classic. Yeah. And, of course, The Crow, which we've already talked about. <clears throat> Yeah, which surprisingly was on none of the lists I looked really? through. Wow. Not one. I, I thought that was like one of the better known cult films. I would have to, yeah, agree with that. <clears throat> I'm a I'm a big fan of Office Space. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I, th- I think now working in an office setting it it just it makes Dude, sense. That, I just get like, it. Like that movie's fine if you've never worked that type of job, but once you work that type of job and then you watch it, it, <laughs> it goes up like three stars, man. It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's it speaks to you. Like it's it was a completely different watch yeah, after I started. I working. can like associate every character in that movie with somebody I know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um yeah, the crow, obviously. Um Matt, you got a uh, Troll Two. It's probably one of my favorite oh, yeah. Cult, yeah. cult movies. Yeah, troll, troll. One too. that I used to I used to like a long time ago, and I tried rewatching it. I didn't really get that vibe anymore. Was Boondock Saints? I don't know if yeah, you yeah, that. I like that. That, that movie. was like back in the day. Everyone used to talk about that fucking movie. It is. That's definitely that was a uh, big one. Yeah, it's definitely a cult film. Yeah, you don't like that though. I mean, that's a great movie. I think I I liked it, but when I rewatched it, like I was like, oh, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I guess. I'm not a fan of the Ron up. Ron Jeremy jerk off scene. <laughs> I mean, guess not. Are you? <laughs> Must just be me. <laughs> Must just be me. Anyway, <clears throat> let's do it. Let's do this well, list. Yeah, we got uh, the twenty-five best cult movies of all time. What? Uh, what do you think you're going to see in here? Uh, Clerks, okay. The Room, uh, anything with okay. Divine. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Those John Flamingos. Waters films, yeah. David Lynch. Yes. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, well, we'll just, uh, <laughs> just let's go stop before it. we name off the whole list. Yeah, stop before we do the whole fucking list. <clears throat> okay, number 25, Army of Darkness. Okay. I've never seen this. I like this movie. It's good. It's funny. I don't know how I feel about the Evil Dead franchise. Well, can I? Thought of me to catch off. Go ahead. I was like gonna a couple years ago. I'm like, let me watch all these Evil Dead movies. Watched the first one, loved it, uh-huh. and I'm like, okay, the second one, everyone loves. Everyone thinks it's the best. So I started watching. It just threw me off because like, you know, they had like lost the rights. It's different. Yeah, something with you lost the rights to that film. So like, they're reenacting scenes from the first one. I'm just like, I cannot get into. Well, it. they yeah, they had to reshoot the beginning yeah. of it. Yeah. So I never made it to Army of Darkness, but I know it's definitely popular. So the thing with that, I think, is is Evil Dead, the first one, is semi-serious, obviously. The second one yeah. starts to get goofy. The third yeah. one, Army of Darkness, is completely goofy. Right. So if you're not already on board with, like, you know, the comedy aspect of it, you won't like it. Yeah. I love the first film. What do you guys think of the remake? I like the remake. Good. I think it's good. Yeah. They're completely serious. Yeah. It's yeah. Definitely more, you know. Not like a good tree raping, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good tree rape. Great electric knife. Scene. I, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. God. Fucking turkey gross. carver. Electric turkey carver. Nice chainsaw scene. Mm-hmm. It's bloody, yeah. bloody movie. Uh, okay, let's see. This was a movie that I saw like on all these lists. Um, <clears throat> it's called With Nail and I. Right around the same time, he scored a huge this comeback with the hit. I. Oh. No. But George Harrison produced it. Oh. 
Right around the same time, he scored a huge comeback hit with I've Got My Mind Set on You. George Harrison produced this hysterical black comedy about two struggling actors in London in 1969. Tired of life in the city, they travel north to a country cottage and get into all sorts of misadventures. This has become a hugely beloved movie in England, though most Americans have never I've even never heard of it. I've never heard of it. I haven't. I did add it to my list because I'm curious now. But uh, it's got Richard E. Grant in it, who you know was Oscar nominated last yeah. year. Okay. Never even so, heard of it. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. It, it was bizarre because it was, like I said, on pretty much every what list year? of... <clears throat> um, fuck, oh. I don't know. It's probably a 90s movie. I think, I think. it is... It's 1987. Okay. 87, just as I suspected. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Number 23, The Princess Bride. I think I'm the only one that's a fan of this movie. I tried to like, but I, just, I, I grew up. I grew up with this movie, so I mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it like everybody yeah. does. I think it's like an '80s kid type of. But I, I think it's one of those, one of those bizarre like cross genre movies. Like I don't know what it wants to be. It's like a fantasy and a comedy, yeah. and also a drama yeah. and a romance. Well, Criterion like deemed it worthy of the collection. Yeah, with a terrible packaging. Yeah, the packaging is pretty bunk. Like a book. Literally well, they book. also deemed uh, Benjamin Button one, too, so <clears throat> take a look at that. Well, yeah. Benjamin Button Far good. superior film. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Far, far superior. I have to disagree. Well, you're wrong. Well, you're I'm disagreeing dumb. Now. You're wrong. This is me disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Falk. Great Peter Falk. Damn straight. Uh, this is another one. I saw <clears throat> that I have no idea what it is. Repo, the genetic opera. I always see that movie, but I, I never want to watch it. Isn't Paris Hilton in that? Uh, I think so. A movie about organ transplants in a dystopian future doesn't seem like the right fit for a rock opera. The movie takes place in year 2056 when organ failure has become a huge problem. A huge corporation gives transplants to those that can pay, but miss a payment and you get a visit from the oh, repo there you go, man. Seth. Interesting. Uh, Morgan failure, like failure. <laughs> wow, Paris Hilton's like a goth chick. Hmm, I'd watch. Two thousand eight. Well, from these screen caps, looks like an eighties movie. Looks like climax. Is I still have to watch, watch that Vega? shit, dude. Yeah, watch it already. I, well, if it's on like Prime, I'll buy it. <clears throat> Ooh, Alexa. Vegas. Ooh, why is she bald? And she's ill. <laughs> I know that's what I. <laughs> Why is she bald? Looks like the crow. Yeah. Oh, it's I was uh, I was watching Westworld and what's that guy's name? Top Dollar in that? I have no clue. The main the main long haired guy. No clue. The, with the deep raspy voice. Never seen it. What? No. What's his name in the crow? Isn't it like Top Dollar or something? I don't know. Is he in that? <laughs> no. I. Oh my god. It's something. It's something completely different. Yeah. I was just I was just gonna say that I saw that guy in Westworld. Oh yeah, oh the main like the main villain guy from the Crow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in Westworld. Yeah, he's in Westworld. Oh, he plays like one of the androids. It's, it's Michael Wincott. It's, 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 yeah, Michael Wincott. I was just so taken aback because I was like, holy shit, that top dollar. Damn. Still got that raspy voice and everything. Top dollar and ooh, Bai Ling. Ooh, Bai God. Bai Ling. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this uh, looks strange. Okay. Repo the Genetic Opera. Oh, my God. Number 21. Hate this movie. <laughs> the Room. There you go. Oh. I, think you, I think you made a video about it. Has anything been beaten to death I more did. than The Room? Currently, no. Uh, I used to think that no, shit was not funny. Really. Like, Tommy was, oh, that was pretty funny, you know. Then it just, yeah, but then everyone fucking found out about it. Holy fuck. Yeah, everybody found out about it. Everybody loves it. Let's go watch it and throw plastic spoons at the screen. Yeah, talk about culty. Mm -hmm. That is, that's, yeah, that's what I'm this saying. This is about as culty. It is. This Audience is the, participation. Yeah, this is the uh, epitome of culty. <clears throat> Troll 2 is way better. Oh, hell yeah. What? So Troll 2 is way better. Uh, I agree. Oh, yeah, like, that one's at least entertaining to yeah. watch. This is just bad. It's just awful. Uh, ooh, here you go, Seth. Um, a lot of Criterion's on this list. Hedwig and the Angry Why? Ooh, here you go, you Seth. Go. <laughs> I don't I thought know. Thought you were like into that one. Rock chick. I'm not into that. It's trans shit. 
Yeah, you, you're <laughs> oh, a well, fan you of go. trans. <laughs> you're a trans fan. I'm trans. I mean, you follow Facebook people <laughs> that are trans. No, I don't. You, you used to watch the shows and the movies. No, I don't. <laughs> it's okay to be who that you are. That movie's supposed to be really good, though. I've heard it's good. Yeah. Criterion deemed it worthy. Okay, well, apparently, <laughs> we know they make mistakes. Well, so. They're running out of shit to put, yeah. to put out. <clears throat> it doesn't really say. Wait for the American about. Pie Criterion series. That's coming out. Now that's worthy. <laughs> oh my God. Is it? Yeah. In what way? Uh, it changed, you know, that whole teen. It was the. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's okay. We'll move yeah. on. You, think you fucking got fishing. me. Fuck you. Let me finish. Fishing for those words. No, you, <laughs> you think you fucking got me. It's not a it game. It ushered in the teen sex genre <laughs> for a new generation. Were you? Are you reading that from Wikipedia? Yeah, no, right? I, no, I'm saying that myself. <laughs> it ushered <laughs> in what, the, you think I can't use the word sex <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Just the way you read it, it. it you read well, it off the screen. Let me. I'm gonna type that in and see if I find something on Google. <laughs> Let's see if I can find well, it on Wikipedia. That was like the teen sex comedy of the '90s that um, spawned many imitators. Okay. 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 I just find I'm. I'm just trying to think about, you know, the day that they announced on Instagram, <laughs> American Pie quadrilogy. Not What's, what supplements do you think they're gonna have? The first one is definitely Criterion where they. That would be a... I, I could see the packaging, you know, a pie on oh, the Oh, yeah. Man. Uh-huh. Sounds great. Criterion logo. Ooh. Number 19. Clerks. There we go. Yes. God, I love clerks. I want to be a clerk. You're not supposed to be here You're not today. supposed to be here today. <sighs> I mean, we've, we've beaten this movie to death, honestly. It is. We talk about clerks a lot. But... All right. That's a good point. <laughs> but it's so good. It's great. Yeah, it really is so good. And if you don't like it, well, go fuck yourself. Damn straight. Anyone excited for Jane Silent Bob reboot? I am, actually. I hope it's good, but the fact it took, what, like five days to make? Yeah. Well, you know, a little Kevin Smith needs to fucking put shit out before he dies again. Kevin Smith, That's I was true. just, as we before you brought up Clerks, I saw a new post from Kevin Smith. It's like his laptop that while he's editing the movie, and it's like a side-by-side. Boy, JMU's meth face is really, really starting to show. Oh god! <laughs> like man, oh man! Well, you saw him at the at the show. He couldn't stop yeah. moving. Hey, that was fun though. Yeah, it was Had a fun. Good time at that. Yeah. <coughs> uh, number eighteen, Blade Runner. Colty. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. 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 I mean, you don't really hear people talk about it unless you're like in. It didn't. It didn't do well when it first came out, too. I don't think. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. No. So. And it's it's kind of one of those movies that y- y- you like it or you don't. I know the first, I tried a couple times to like it, and then I watched it again and I, I kind of got it. Like I think it was helpful that I saw like the the newer mm-hmm. one. It kind of pieced it together. It's just it's confusing. Yeah, I don't know. I watched it one time and it didn't really stick with me. But I've got this new one on 4K. I'd like to revisit the first one. Yeah. I mean, it's you could easily watch the second without the first, but it's still. I mean, it's still you'd want to watch them both. Uh, uh number seventeen, Monty Python: The Holy Grail. Never seen it. I've only seen parts of it. And, uh, Love it. I mean, it's that British hu- dry yeah. British humor. So if if you're not into that, you may not like it. But it's it's good. I like it. Culty. Uh number sixteen. I am. Culty, I don't know. Fight Club. Yes. Uh, not my favorite. It definitely has that cult. It thing does. To it. People it, love it, that. It bombed, and then uh, yeah, everyone started to. Oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, uh, though the film didn't generate much buzz when it first came out. Fight Club has become one of the most yep. beloved cult films of the nineties. You know, it's about consumerism. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <a> metaphor. <laughs> The audience is a little dude heavy for obvious reasons, but women do occasionally show up to midnight screenings. Hmm. Hmm. Stinky. Third wave feminism sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Number fifteen, the Blues Brothers. Never Man, watched this. I just added this to my watch list after watching Animal House because I love. <laughs> I love Belushi. I'm getting obsessed with comedians who died from drugs. I'm a Belushi. <laughs> 
God Fanatic. damn. Fanatic. You're going to have a long, you're going to have a long Yeah, list I just finished my Chris Farley obsession. Now it's <laughs> John Belushi. Ooh. I've never seen anything with the Blues Brothers. So, but it started out as a skit, right? On Saturday Night Live. Yep. I believe so. Let me know how it is. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if it's worth watching. Well, my opinion sucks, so. That's yeah. true. Remember, I don't Number know 14, Warriors. Ooh. I've never seen this, but I know that the guy who says that <laughs> is in The Crow. The, the, crow, oh, the crow, The Crow, The Crow, The Crow, The Crow, The Crow, The Crow. There uh, has never fuck. been a better film. Well, oh. maybe Taxi Driver. There's, no, there's only a couple oh, films great. that perfectly capture the scumminess of 70s New York. I would have to say Maniac does. Never seen it. Like yes, that will, if you like Warriors and you like uh, um, what's it called? Taxi Driver, you will probably okay. like Maniac. Because that is 70s fucking scummy New York. Yeah, this, <laughs> man, Warriors, these guys are running around on the subways and Coney Island and holy shit. Man. Well, honestly, even today Coney Island is fucking scary. It lo- it's still yeah. like the Warriors. This movie uh, captures yeah. it perfectly. But yeah, it blew up too. Like, everyone loves that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Blu-ray is always cheap. I've just never gone out of my way to watch did it Did you yet. play the game, Nick? I didn't. I was going to ask you the same I never same did, thing. but it was Rockstar. It's great. It's kind of weird for Rockstar to put out a game like that, you know? Yeah. Must be like an open world New York Coney yeah. Island. Yeah. Ooh, another criterion. Number 13, Dazed and Confused. Uh, <laughs> you don't like it? It's my favorite, Link Later. It's not my favorite. It's either. good. It's I prefer good, Everybody Wants Some. Are you serious? Oh, we've talked about this. The yes, same exact I conversation. Holy shit. So I love Dazed and Confused, but I've got to be honest. A lot of the acting in the movie is fucking horrible. No more, <laughs> Mr. Nice. What's with all the spanking? Yeah, I'm like... Wiley Wiggins, too. Can you stop touching your nose? Shit. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> I thought Wiley Wiggins was a girl when I first saw it. But, man, it's it. a great film. Um, and nice young Mila Jovovich. <laughs> yeah. I mean, much like the kids in George Lucas's 1973 classic American Graffiti, they decide to have one last wild night on the town. Have you guys seen American Graffiti? I haven't. I have Ron it. Howard I Classic. Re- yeah, I really want to see that. Is he yeah. in that? Oh. Richard Dreyfus is in it too, isn't he? Pre Oh, oh. Richard Dreyfus. Pre uh pre Star Wars George Lucas. Dick Dreyfus. Right? And Harrison Ford's in it, maybe? Yeah. Mm. Is that like a like a sex comedy? American Graffiti? Yeah. It's probably just I think like it's like a Days of Yeah, Confused. it feels like it's it's the Days of Confused of like Fuck. Richard like Dreyfus in a 70s. sex comedy? Sign me up. Oh, well, wasn't he like that in The Last Laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need another? Well, this could be a little bit better. Yeah, probably. <laughs> another one of those Blu-rays that's always on sale. Oh, produced by Francis Ford Coppola. Ah, so you've got the director Jack. <laughs> oh, did you hear he's putting out a new cut of Apocalypse Now? Yeah. Number 12, Repo Man. Got to talk about this movie. Hated it the first time I watched it. Sold the Criterion. Didn't want anything to do with it. Thought it sucked. Then it was one that, you know, once I got rid of it, I thought, man, maybe I kind of wish I didn't get rid of that. Then our good (laughs) buddy uh, John Lanting was purging his Criterion collection. Saw that he had that for sale. I'm like, man, let me buy that from you. Watched (laughs) it again and fuck yeah, it's a good movie. So I had the exact same thing as you except before. I just, yeah, but I just, (laughs) the first half. I didn't it, like it. It gets a little <laughs> ridiculous, you know. The first half is... So you like, just... Alex you just Cox like. is a fucking hack. <coughs> what else has he done? Exactly. Nothing. Same Nancy? <laughs> I think so. He hasn't done anything. Yeah, Sid and Nancy. Fear on... Uh, what did he do? Uh, oh, yeah. That's it. Wow. He wrote Fear and Loathing. Oh, Wow. Interesting. You don't like uh, <clears throat> punk, do, like punk Emilio Estevez and uh, Harry Dean Stanton? <laughs> it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it just wasn't. I don't know. You can watch the sequel, Alex but you Cox, know what, made though? in 2009, Repo Chick. No, I'm good. Uh. 
Me too. It was one of those, you know, like back in the day, those criterions, like, oh, the packaging's so fucking cool. It is I'm gonna, cool. I'm going <laughs> to buy it. It's punk. Mm-hmm. Oi, oi, oi. I, I think I bought that at, like, Costco when they were, like, 20 bucks or something. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Oh, no. Number 11, Eraserhead. Ew. That's a one and done for me, to be honest. It, it would probably, yeah. Uh, Makes no sense. It's about it's childbirth, it's consumerism, and about having <laughs> having children. <laughs> Child I always consumerism. thought that was fucking Tim Robbins on the cover. I always thought that was Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Does, tell me that doesn't look like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'd have to it, look dude, it, it looks again. a lot like Tim Robbins. Like, <sighs> man, I always thought it was Tim Robbins, but I just wondered why he was wearing his hair like that. Like, what? I don't get I just, it. I. I I get it. I get it. Done the same rant a hundred times, so I won't bother. But I don't get. I don't get Lynch. <laughs> well, I guess that's why he's culty. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Number ten, Donnie Darko. Yeah. Yes. Why didn't we talk about this? That's right. Now this is a great film. One of my favorite yeah. films. Agreed. It's culty because the guy never did anything good again yeah i know um, he sucks you know like i always say about lynch and malik i'm gonna say about uh who's it richard kelly right yeah i'm pretty sure he made this movie and didn't know what he was doing with it <laughs> he just got yeah, lucky like, well i i eventually probably got frustrated he's like fuck it I, this is not going anywhere let me just slap some scenes together <laughs> well i, I heard South- it up well i heard southland tales is like it got shit on but it's like a brilliant movie supposedly Really? Like, it's super, yeah, it's, like, super detailed. People, like, analyzed it and stuff, so okay. I want to rewatch that. Okay. I love Donnie What Darko. movie? Southland Tales, the other one that he did. With fucking, like, oh, with okay. what's Justin Timberlake and The Rock and shit. Ew. Yeah. Hmm. But it's, like, one of those, you know, like, symbolism movies. Is there, is Ooh, there a bigger one-hit wonder? I mean, like, fuck. No, exactly. Is yeah. Like one-hit no. wonder of film. God damn, but fuck, yeah, dude. That's it. I mean, that's a pretty fucking genius. Donnie Darko's a great film. Not <laughs> yeah, I you know it's man. I've probably seen it twenty times. I still couldn't tell you exactly what's going on. I have, <laughs> you know, every time I watch it, I'm like, okay, I think this is. I think I get it. You know, but mm-hmm. it's, you find it's, something new. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, I, I fuck if I know. I, I'm pretty sure he didn't know what he was doing. He slapped it together, and you know, people eat it up. Probably, wouldn't doubt it. <clears throat> uh, number nine. Ooh, Brian De Palma, Phantom of the Paradise. Never seen it. You guys ever heard of I this? I have heard of it, yeah. I, I've never seen it. It looks fucking crazy. It's about an evil record tycoon, a disfigured composer hell-bent on revenge, a pact with Satan and a rock club called the Paradise. I've seen, isn't it, isn't it wow. Criterion or no? No, it isn't. I don't even know if there's like any release of it. I've only seen like the it's, cover of it. Phantom of the Paradise. It's bizarre. Yeah. Like if you search it and see the character. Yeah, the fucking. Well, the <clears throat> the poster looks like Phantom of the Opera, but it sounds like it's a metaphor for critics. Seventy four De Palma. Hmm. As soon as we start talking De Palma, I just tune right out. God. Idiot. De Palma face. You just. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good one, idiot. Uh, oh, here we Labyrinth. go. Number eight. No. <laughs> Number eight, The Evil Dead. Okay. Yeah. There we go. The original. Good film. The original. Uh, Number seven. What? Pink Floyd, The nah. Wall. Oh, I thought you were going to say Pink Flamingo. That, that's got to be up there. <laughs> No, it's it's not on this list, but it was. Uh, hold up, list. I've never seen that Pink Floyd the Wall, but man, that you've seen the music video for that sure, for yeah. the movie, you know, when the kids are falling into the meat grinder. Yeah, that's classic. What is this? A movie? Yeah, yeah, but it's based on that uh, on the song. album The Wall. Mm-hmm. The music video is cool. Not a big Pink Floyd guy. I never really got into it. Yeah, him. I wasn't. That yeah, well. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go Never ahead. Never mind. Why? Just say Just it. Say it. Well, you know, I mean, they don't scream or anything like that. Sorry. Says I gotta the be fucking honest, guy no, in listen, a goddamn scream talk. band. 
<laughs> back in the day, <sighs> like, you know, when I was fucking 16, 17, 18... They used to make fun of people that wore, like, Pink Floyd shirts and, you know, like, like oh, give me a break. Yeah, they nice, smelled. Yeah. It sounds like a band like, you would Like, nice Zeppelin of. shirt, you know. Yeah. Stinky. Yeah. But as I've gotten older and, you know, <laughs> you learn more about music and you realize that a lot of the bands that you like probably grew up listening to that shit, you know. It's very influential music. Yeah, like um, the- Robert... Robert Smith was no! inspired by the Beatles. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. yeah but, that just, the but that just proves, doesn't mean you have to like everything they fucking liked. No, no you don't. Yeah. But, I mean, I, so, I have listened to Pink Floyd sucks. <laughs> Next. I like whatever Robert likes. <laughs> Next. Oh, God. Misery Signals, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm good with it. Misery Signals is way better, but. <laughs> Weird. A rock star whose childhood demons drive him insane. Seem custom for made for the big screen. Hmm. Yeah, I've always wanted to watch it. I just can't find it anywhere. Cool. <clears throat> uh, number six. Ooh, Harold and Maude. I still need to Kumar. watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Harold and Maude's better. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it it's not. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's not. And that's the fucking end of it. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I, I disagree. <laughs> You're fucking Cal wrong. Pan is way better than fucking whoever yeah. that guy. Who's in it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bud Court. Bud Court, loser. <laughs> <laughs> rather, re- much rather watch John Cho. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> much rather watch John Cho. Gotta love his filmography, all five movies. Hey, searching. Yeah, six movies. Star Trek. <laughs> Columbus. Uh, seven movies. Columbus. Was, you want to keep going? <laughs> no, you prove, yeah, prove ahead, your point. Going. You're you're looking on. You've proven your Google, point, but that's fine. American Pie. Kindly leave. But it's funny. He's death obsessed. Oh, okay. I'm sure, it's cool. And he wants to get with an old lady. Yeah. Mm. I don't know anything about it. It's good. Another criterion. Oh, okay. Dark comedy. Black comedy, if you will. Black. <laughs> Chocolate. Five, a clockwork orange. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate women. <laughs> a chocolate river. A chocolate river. A chocolate woman. Love clockwork. Oh, yeah. That's culty yeah. as fuck. Clockwork. It is. <laughs> it really it is. is. I got... I have a fridge magnet of Alex on ah. my fridge. Malcolm McDowell. Yeah, got it from Zia. Cool. Oh, Zia, 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 Zia. The crowd, the crowd, the crowd, the crowd, the crowd, the crowd, the crowd. <laughs> Shut up, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Seen it one time. That's good. that's crazy that you've only seen it one time. It's like, a, yeah, it really so is good. Kind of bizarre. Yeah, it's pretty good. I liked it a lot. I don't know. It just sounds weird calling it a cult film, though. I think that's the same thing though. That that film didn't do so well. No, you're wrong. Okay. (laughs) Says Pulp Fiction was a big hit when it came out, and critics absolutely loved it. It is, however, still regular on the midnight movie circuit, and continue to quote its lines and obsess over all the little details. So I guess that's why is it's still on like the midnight circuit. Fuck me, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, fuck. If you ever listen, what are your favorite movies of all time? Pulp Fiction. Uh, Pulp Fiction. The Dark Knight. Uh, Star Wars. No, it's always like Dark Knight trilogy. <laughs> Dark Knight trilogy. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> it's like fuck. Dark Just Knight pick trilogy. A goddamn movie. Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> oh, Civil War. Civil War. <laughs> uh, number three. This is Spinal Tap. Never saw this. Uh, Rob Reiner, right? Yeah, Rob Reiner. It's another one of those like kind of mockumentary. Uh, it's like a spoof yeah, on mock- those mockumentaries. Mock- yeah. Mockumentary. Mo- mockumentary. Mm-hmm. Mockumentary. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it's not bad. I started watching it once. I, mean, it, yeah, I thought it was fine. Could finish uh, it. Last two. What'd you say? <laughs> I couldn't finish it. I just started it. Uh, it's like an hour and a half. That could be long. <laughs> okay. Well, when you have the attention span of a squirrel. Okay, Peanut. <laughs> peanut pull apart brain bread. <laughs> 
<laughs> remember remember yep. who was peanut on this podcast first? Yep. It was you. That's right. No, it wasn't. I just didn't know how to talk yeah. on a podcast. Peanut what did brain. You say? Just be like, what the peanut fuck? brain. <laughs> <laughs> peanut brain pull apart bread. <laughs> uh, <shit's funny. laughs> peanut butter pull apart brain bread. <laughs> okay, last two here. Ugh, the Big Lebowski. What do you mean? Uh, my least favorite. Oh well, maybe not my least. Yeah, favorite. Your least of, favorite. Like my, no, 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 no. Not my yeah, least it's favorite. Probably my least. One favorite. of my least favorite. Really? You yeah. think Hail Caesar's I better? I haven't watched it yet, but I've only yeah. seen Big Lebowski once. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've tried a couple times. I just It's one of those I just couldn't get but, into. I just didn't understand. But you why. want to talk about Colty. That fucking movie has a following, dude. It, it does. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think there's a, mm. a follow-up, right, coming out? Or am I just talking out my ass? No, that was just that Super Bowl no, commercial for No, go, um, Going Places, upcoming film with John John Turturro. Turturro. What? Turturro? Turturro. Oh, yeah. John Turturro. Okay. Based... Based on his character, yeah. Jesus. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And he's directing and writing it too. Oh. Sounds like it'll be destined for streaming on Amazon Prime <clears throat> and never seen anywhere else. But. Maybe. Yep. Ooh, the girl from. Amelie. Ooh. Tattoo. Audrey Tattoo. That's a that's a that's a culty film. Yeah, not a lot of people talk about that movie. It's I've good. Never seen it. Well, it was on one of the lists. Every I saw, woman so. that is like kind of into art will call that their favorite film. Oh, well, of course. Yeah, it is. I mean, the very, the beginning is like masterful. Like, I think the beginning is great, but it just kind of it's very Wes Wes Anderson style. You notice that? Yeah, like before he before, was yeah. doing that style. Oh, I can pass then. You like Wes Anderson? <laughs> Stop. I think I think you I would like, like it. Wes. It's in French. Wesley. Though. What does that mean? I've watched more foreign films than you. I've watched more foreign films than you this past weekend. <laughs> I'd have to go with Filmies on this. He's probably watched way more foreign films than all of us. Oh, just... Oh God, now he thinks he's so cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm the film expert on this podcast. Get out of here. <laughs> you put in the man hours, you might as well be. Shit. Yeah, shit. Don't do it for nothing. I can, I can out-film you any day. Yo, what, what was that fucking movie you watched? What was the fucking... It was like 10 hours long. Fuck it, fuck it. Showa? No, it was another one. It was it was a, like a war movie. You made a video about it. Oh no, the oh that was Gettysburg. Gettysburg. It was like four yeah, hours. it was like yeah. One of those you get movie- the fucking award. Yeah, like it was like one of those movies that was a TV series and they cut it into a oh, movie. Okay. Yeah, well, how many times have you watched so, a trip to the moon? It's twenty eight minutes or something, couple, isn't it? A, yeah, it's like well, fifty. Like I've, seen, want, eight, I've seen it eight want. times. Okay. Cool. So that's like barely the what amount does it have of the full movie. <laughs> o- older than I think you watch, dummy. <laughs> uh, I've seen Melier's films from before that Me one. Me too. I've fucking logged them all. You should watch The Adventures of Barry Munchausen. I love George Melius. <laughs> Melius. <laughs> the Adventures of Baron Munchausen. <clears throat> that's like straight up. Looks exactly like a George Melier hmm. movie. Sounds shitty. <laughs> what, was, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? What was number one cult culty movie? Uh, yeah, get this shit. Going. Uh, we just did, we just it's didn't, fucking we eight just o'clock didn't already. Let's it. go. Oh, I'm ready to well, go. Fucking quit talking. <laughs> quit trying to out movie me, loser. That's a peanut butter cream Oreo steak. <laughs> oh my oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number one, the Rocky Horror oh, Picture Show. Tim Curry trans. <laughs> Ah, right up your ass, asshole. <laughs> I've never seen this. But that would be very cool to you. I was surprised. I liked it. I've heard it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a bizarre... Susan Sarandon looking musical. bomb, right? Didn't she look bomb in that oh. movie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Susu? Oh, yeah. She looks real good in it. But, yeah. Cult. Cult-y. What are your favorite cult films? Let us From know. From that list, Donnie Darko. <laughs> For me. Yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah. Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko. The crow, the crow, the crow. The crow, the crow, the crow, the crow. The crow. Every night I burn. Zia, Zia, Zia. The cure, the cure, the cure, the cure. The cure, the cure. Foreign films. Foreign films, foreign films, foreign films. Trip to the moon, trip to the moon, trip to the moon. Meliers, Meliers, Meliers. I don't see Hugo. Do for a... Yeah, I was going to say I'm due for a watch. That's right. 
I know. Yeah. Didn't I tell you about that movie? I, I think you did. Somebody told me about it. I was it. like, bro, you need to watch it. <laughs> I had that forever, and I just, I, I'm like, oh, a movie about kids in a train station. I was like, it's cool. not. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's so as much more. As soon as that shit, though, ties in with fucking, oh, Trip to the Moon and all so that good. shit. Man. Fuck. That was a Scorsese gem. Oh, fuck me, Automaton. Oh. So, oh, so good. <laughs> automaton. <laughs> fuck me in the fuck butt, Automaton. Oh. Well, fellas, that was a long episode. Twas. Anything else? End it. End it. Get me out of here. End it. Episode 131 in the books. Jesus Thank- Christ. <laughs> God damn. Thank- When's it going to end? Never. Soon. Put it on me out we'll of my see. misery. Thank you guys for listening, and as always, go fuck yourselves. <laughs>